Cello to the good honey beard. Yes, man. Monday, November 9th, 2020. It's, it's 6 a.m. now. Let me put some little light here for you. It's 6 a.m. And I'm um, looking through my window here. And I'm seeing the sky so cloudy and thing, boy. It, it's raining right now. And um, the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. The wind is coming in from the southeast at six kilometers an hour. The humidity, humidity is 94%. The dew point is 24. The pressure is 1011 millibars. The cloud cover is 50%. You can see what's going on there. And um, visibility, 16 kilometers. The cloud ceiling, it had no cloud ceiling. I know what we know with that. Anyhow, no UV index today. Well, at least for now. So what I have going on here, I'm trying to give these bees a little feed. So I just, is a one-to-one -one sugar solution I'm doing here. So I now have the water come up to a little heat there. And I have the I have the sugar over here in this container. So I'm just going to put it in there now and see how that goes. Yeah, the, the, yeah man, the, the, the water hot enough to melt that sugar. So hold on there for a minute. Okay, so we ready there now. But what going on is in this kind of weather. I don't need to, I don't want to go down in the, go down in the back there and feed those beans. This um, liquid, when it's raining like that, so, I put it in the open. So this is a one-to-one -one mix, because they, I need them to finish building out those group frames. For the first time, I'm going to feed them in the open. Let me see how, what they do with this feed. How they'll take it up. I part of the training in. And what is nice about it is, when you feed them, when you feed them this uh, liquid hot like this, it activates the entire apiary. Every man jack does get stimulated. They want to get this nice sweet stuff. Right, so I'm going to be going across there and putting that in place in a few minutes. So. Let's see what's going on with that. Hold on, eh? I'll carry you down in the back just now. Okay, we are down at the back here, and this is what I did. Let's open it up and see what's going on on the inside. I just put this weight on top of it there to prevent it from blowing away if it has wind. And as you can see, this is what's going on, and this is how they like it. So you put this straw, well I usually use the coconut husk to prevent them from drowning and they're having a ball. So I wouldn't disturb them further than that. So I just use a telescopic lid to cover it and put some kind of weight on top so it wouldn't get blown away by the wind or anything. And the bees are very happy with that. Yeah man, so they're doing well. They're doing just, just, the, just the thing that I want them to do. So today we're going to be having quite a bit of rain. I don't expect we to get any sunshine today. 
Um, let me go and look at the entrance and see what's happening at the entrance here. Yes, man. First off, I could see that, you know, there's quite a bit of activity taking place because of what I did there for them. And, um, oh yeah, they're doing very well. The soap vine is out, you know. So, in a short space of time, they should be pulling in some of that nectar. Um, and of course, I will have to stop feeding this now too. Okay, let me see what's happening here. Some of them trying to... Some of them trying to look for any opening to, to rub, you know. But they can't rub because everything is sealed up nice. You see? So if I had gone in here and tried to feed them as I usually do with the feed feeder feeder box and well I run out you see I run out of um, boxes so I just use these whole um, containers the four gallon containers to cover it so the ones that are I have boxes for you know it covered like that so the bees are totally have their, their food totally enclosed everybody looking good nobody could rob anybody and as you notice I have the, the liquid feed that is about about 50 feet away Honey sugar syrup, one-to-one -one mixture. Make sure and put honey in it. Well, I usually do. And um, no dead bees on the ground. The rain is doing its thing. Any bees that happen to go into the drains will be washed away. And the whole apiary will be clean. Because you know when dead bees accumulate the, the, the smell is not nice and bees don't like that they try to get rid of that so we as beekeepers in fact what I do sometimes I come here and I um, use a cookie broom which is um, made from the coconut branches the, the leaves yes you, you um, clean it out and you make a broom and sometimes I clean this whole area here in the front and if it need be, sometimes I use the garden hose and wash down the drain, get out all the, the dead bodies of the bees to make sure that the whole area is not smelling stinky. So as you can see folks, there isn't much I can do today, but I'm just showing you how the how I do the feed, liquid feed. What I have in these boxes here is I have an inner cover so you have the brood box the two supers and you have the inner cover and inside inside this super here I have a container with liquid feed a container with solid feed and the solid feed of course you put some honey in the bottom of the container and you fill it up with the granulated sugar by the way cane sugar which is the same granulated sugar, just more refined. The cane sugar usually would cause the bees to um, get diarrhea if you don't mix it in a particular um, particular way because of the molasses. So it, it, it slows down the bees quite a bit, even if you mix it to some degree that it don't give them diarrhea. It slows down the bees. The refined sugar is much more easy on the, the bees system so in the other container as you would have seen in the previous video is where i put some of the coconut husk to prevent the bees from drowning and um, then i cover it 
I put an inner cover as well and then I'll use the telescopic lid to cover it. So it's totally sealed up inside it. It's a pretty nice way of feeding bees without having to use some of the other uh, feeding methods. And um, this is material that I have lying around. Like for instance, the containers is regular, maybe oil containers or water containers that I just cut to the, the height and I utilize that and you see when you have the inner cover here it the bees will be able to keep that whole area wherever it is at the 95 degrees which is suitable for them but if you don't put an inner cover the bees will have to keep that whole area at that 95 degrees which you know will cause the bees to use up more energy to do that also, if you want to compress the, the colonies at a certain time of the year, depends on what is happening in the field, you might even need to take the inner cover and put it on top the first super to compress the bees, limit the space so that you will do any kind of manipulation based on what is happening. So these are some of the things that I do. You also do manipulation with the frames inside here as well. But for right now, um, today, I'm feeding on the outside. I want to see what kind of um, activities I will generate from doing that. When it was by um, uh, Saturday, I fed them liquid on the inside. But today I'm feeding on the outside because I want them to keep that um, activity going in spite of the rain because usually in November we will have rain November December and sometime you know we have a heavy rainfall in January and um, with this November rain and the soap vine out there I don't want the bees to get lazy by tapping into the food source on the inside so part of the training is to get them to fly outside and by just going for that uh, liquid source over there it also gives them the opportunity to fly out in the rain go out there and you know as soon as it ease up a little bit they will go out and look for nectar in the flowers and all these things are happening so this is another good bees video for you don't forget eh? you know I need you to Subscribe, like, and share. Ring that bell icon. Um, tell a friend. And most of all, thanks very much for watching. So this is just a little good bees video coming to you direct from the beautiful Caribbean island of Trinidad, where I am. And I am Hans T. Yemen. And you can see the bees. I'm here right now. I'm looking at them doing my notes to you and who is that boy okay they're behaving themselves today you know yeah because you see they're getting a lot of food and uh, they're feeling good and uh, you know they are not skinny right now so yeah man and just doing nothing right here for you all so you can see i'm not getting any sting at all so this is good, very pleasant, but I wouldn't stay here too long though. You can see, I don't know if you can see it, how many, how many bees flying up and down, in and out. Uh, if you look at the, the foreground of that uh, tree there, that bush there, you'll see how many bees going in and out there. So they, they're very, very stimulated at this point. This is what I like to see, this is what I want. So that they'll be able to go out there and get that nectar. Alright, so I haven't had any coffee or tea or anything yet. So, you know, you can join me. I'm going to see what I can find. Get something inside the tummy. And I have quite a few chores again to do. For this beautiful Monday morning. 
You see, it's raining, but it's not not heavy, and it's not um, causing a problem as yet. Bees, the bees here usually wake up like around five, sometimes half past four, and they shoot off to see what they can find. I, I woke up this morning pretty early as well to get that feed prepared so that by the time they fly out, um, about half past five, so I noticed they came out this morning. So I also hustle a little bit and put that feed out there. Let's take another look and see what, I wouldn't open it up because then I might get sting. But you notice they, they're trying to, they're trying to find food in all the other places where I probably had a little spill here and there. Like here for instance, so I think some of the, the liquid had spilled and run off. So they, they remember that. These have some um, built up memory, you know. You see how they're walking all about searching? All it have inside these containers is the solid feed. They don't have no liquid feed. And um, they would come at this here because it have that space. If you look at the the colonies that have the telescopic lid on it. You're not seeing the bees vovonaying around it so much. They're just flying in the air. But all the containers that I put here to cover the field, you would see it have bees going to the edges because they could get that smell coming through there, the little edge. But you see, the thing is, I don't have any other boxes. So, you know, I have to do a makeshift thing. All right, so I was just warned. One fly and at the back of my neck and wiggle up in my hairs, the back of my hair. The hairs are the back of my head there. So, it's time to move out. Let's see what's going on here. Alright, so they will, they will continue with that until that whole... All that amount of liquid I put there is depleted. So what I'm going to do, the amount that I put in here is just one, one portion. So the, the, the next portion, I will come back later this evening and put it for them. So it's like half a container, that, for, that five gallon container, half of that. Fill it up with um, the liquid, honey sugar syrup, one to one mixture. Eh? Because what I'm doing is I'm making sure that the bees build out those foundation there for me. And keep them into that cycle because I need to I need them to build more foundation. So when they finish that full set, I will do another cycling for the second set. And of course, right up here you can see my faithful tree. It's in flower. So they have that there to go and then they have the soap vine all over the place. Kudzu will come in in our timing. So that's what's going on here at the Good Honey Bee Yard right now. And this beautiful Monday morning in November. It's November 9th, yeah boy. Time flies when you're fun and have eh? Okay, the temperature really nice too. I could, you know, lime here a bit, but because of the rain, I wouldn't do that. I have quite a few other things I need to do to get and get myself ready for this soap vine that is up and about here right now. So, have a good day. 
Be safe. Take care of your bees. And um, I'll come back to you in another video. This is this is really good. I like what I've seen here. This, this is fantastic. Yeah, man. Although we have um, so vine, we have mango too, you know. Look. And you see there are some kind of bee going on it there. Mango flowers is coming out. So there are other types of flowers all about the place, you know. You see, look more mango again. Okie dokie. All right, folks. Have a good one. The week has started. So, get up and get out there and get going just like the bees. TTFN.